Uh, it's Kamali taking you through the stories people are talking about and sharing around the world on Newsfeed today. Kids in cages in detention. Is it all part of Trump's art of the deal? If the Democrats would sit down instead of obstructing, we could have something done very quickly. A fictional superhero shows love to a real life one while getting an award from MTV. Would you win a debate against a computer? If you fancy a go, IBM has your challenger. And lighting up Madagascar thanks to a team of grandmothers who will have the whole story. Now, the shameful immigration policy of the United States, which has seen children ripped from their parents' arms, has shocked American politics. And the ripples of disgust continue to spread around the world. Now, lack of agreement between Democrats and Republicans has been blamed for what's happening on the southern border. But is there something more suspicious to all of this? safety and we want security for our country. If the Democrats would sit down instead of obstructing, we could have something done very quickly. Good for the children, good for the country, good for the world. <laughs> And so this is not an immigration issue, this is a humanitarian issue. Now, as Trump deals with the fallout from his immigration decisions, he's used a classic technique of look over here at the shiny thing to try and distract us. He's confirmed that the United States is to have a sixth branch of the military, the Space Force. When it comes to defending America, it is not enough to merely have an American presence in space. We must have American dominance in space. So important. Very importantly, I'm hereby directing the Department of Defense and Pentagon to immediately begin the process necessary to establish a space force as the sixth branch of the armed forces. That's a big statement. It really is. Now, the internet's been all over it. Actually, there's been a bit of a mixed response from loads of people, but we picked out two from two buzzers. Buzz Aldrin, who's actually been to the mood, said today was historic with President Trump expressing his intention to create a sixth branch of the military, a space force, USSF. Wait and see. But my favorite was this one. Hashtag space force sounds like a job for Buzz Lightyear. Shame he's just an action figure. Take a look at what else is trending on social media. Now, the MTV Movie Awards last night, Black Star Panther Chadwick Boseman picked up an award for the best hero and used the opportunity to honor a real life hero who was in the audience. I just want to acknowledge somebody that's here today, James Shaw Jr. Where are you stand? If you don't know James Shaw Jr., he fought off a gunman in Antioch, Tennessee. At a Waffle House. He saved lives. Come on up here. Thank you, brother. So this is gonna live at your house. I give her TMA. And the young American rapper XXX Tentacion was shot and killed in Florida last night. Video from the scene of the crime has been viewed more than a four million times already. Now, Kanye West has led tributes, tweeting, rest in peace, I never told you how much you inspired me when you were here. Thank you for existing. 
And the tech company IBM has debuted something called Project Debater at an event in Silicon Valley. Basically, it's an artificial intelligence prototype that can actually argue with humans. The idea is that the AI can, AI can use facts and figures to help humans make decisions. It can even crack your joke. You are speaking at the extremely fast rate of 218 words per minute. There is no need to hurry. The value of this technology is really to... Oh, it's a burn. Let me tell you something. New York is the greatest city in the world. My city. I was a kid in these streets, and I made it to the top. My barn is doing a piece And John Travolta's new movie, Gotti, about the infamous New York mobster John Gotti, has just been released, and it is not good. The critics hate it, and it's got the enemy of being a zero-rated film on Rotten Tomatoes. The New York Post called it the worst mob movie of all time. That can't go unchecked. Let's begin our Turkish election run-up now. The vote is coming on Sunday, the 24th of June, and the energy around here in Istanbul is palpable. Now, time for two profiles of two of the main contenders. We've got five facts about each. First up, President Erdogan of the AK Party. Next, Mudhem Inje of the CHP. Now, protests in Macedonia over a name change have been bumbling away for years, but they've now come to the surface just when a deal seems to have been reached. Have a look at this.
let's take you around the world now for some other stories you need to know this Tuesday. At a official ceremony in northern France, President Emmanuel Macron had a go at a teenage boy who sang a socialist anthem at him and called him by his nickname Manu before quickly saying sorry. Ooh, he then goes on to tell the kid that if he wants to start a revolution, he needs to study and get a degree or he can lecture others. FIFA is looking into allegations that Mexican fans use homophobic chants during their win over Germany in the World Cup the weekend. Now, I won't repeat the chant, it's a slur for a male prostitute and the director at the German goalkeeper. Now, kind of ironic that FIFA would open an investigation into homophobia in football after awarding the World Cup to Russia, which has a terrible record when it comes to gay rights. And talk about commitments to your team. A guy has cycled from Portugal to Russia in 45 days to see his boys play. He's only just arrived at Mr. Team's opener on Friday against Spain. He says he watched it from a hotel on the road, tired, but happy to see that his team didn't lose. Now, plans to cut the public debt in Egypt are not going down well with people there. Prices are rising for all manner of everyday goods, and this could be just the beginning. Right now, the island of Madagascar gets plenty of sun and now some local women, dubbed the Solar Grandmothers, are using tech from India to bring light to their villages. Take a look. Right, that is your lot from the Newsfeed team. Do reach out to us with your questions, comments, complaints, and suggestions. You'll find me at Kamali Melbourne. We're also 24-7 on Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. Follow, subscribe, and add. See you again tomorrow.